Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Reddy from Reddy's Rides. I'm back here at Crown Euro Cars in Pinellas Park, Florida, and we have it. This is a 2020 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT-R. So let's talk a little bit about the AMG GT. The AMG GT first hit the streets in 2016. Since then, it's gone through an evolutionary process that continues into 2020. This is not a total redesign, but there are some elements where there's been some refreshing and some things added to the whole lineup. When you're looking at, well, where does the AMG GTR fall? This is the pinnacle of the AMG GT lineup. This car is meant to go up against the uh, Corvette Z06, the Porsche 911 uh, S, uh, Nissan GTR, Nismo edition. These types of cars are the extreme track worthy essence of what Mercedes-Benz and AMG is all about. Mercedes-Benz takes these cars, they're raced all over the world, including here in the United States in the IMSA WeatherTech series. And this thing is as close to that race car as you are gonna get. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2020, that evolutionary change, AMG GTR. Now, right off the bat, you'll notice just how low the front of this car is. Here are some upgrades for 2020. They actually redesigned the front fascia. It's a little bit wider. Headlight design is all new. I love what's going on here. Full LED lighting, of course. Daytime running lamps, very unique to Mercedes-Benz, and it just looks so sinister on the front of this AMG GTR. I like the way it's blacked out, and all the different elements really makes it look very exclusive, and I like that. Now, as we come down, functional, functional side air curtains, full functional venting, you can see that with the GTR, you're gonna get a little bit extra downforce. This little extension of the lip spoiler here provides more downforce than if it wasn't there. The same thing with this whole front nose. As we come across, this has been refreshed for 2020. Like I said, it's wider, it's tweaked just a little bit, but this is a GTR specific front fascia. I love the vertical slots. A little bit of chrome just to show the class of Mercedes-Benz. You have that AMG logo over here. So much racing history, so much racing tradition. And then you can see that the lower portion here, the extension, especially this front lip uh, spoiler that's coming out a little bit more, that's gonna give you maximum downforce to help the car steer. My zonk for this is it's, the, it's gloss black. It's the only gloss black on the front of the car. So I'm not really digging this. I wish they would have just kept it flat black, but really just the width of this car is unbelievable. And you can see how the nose slopes down. Now, as we pop up onto the hood, this is a new color. It's called Blue Magno, new for 2020. It's a flat blue and I'm loving it because you can clearly see the body lines. You have a nice line here that starts at the back end of the front fascia, right behind the Mercedes em uh, emblem, onto the hood and then just floats away, disappears, and then you have two more higher ones that are gonna stay and really kind of focus all the way back to those heat extractors. Now, like I said, heat extractors, they're functional. You're bringing cold air in and you're gonna drag the hot air out from those heat uh, extractors. Because remember, at the end of the day, underneath this long hood, over 500 horsepower from that four liter twin turbo V8. That's a lot of power. We come around the bend, you can see the work that's been done through uh, wind tunnel testing, through racing, this little extra piece is gonna provide better downforce, it's gonna pro provide better airflow. These wheels, absolutely, positively, race craft, race design, gorgeous. Love the machine aluminum AMG logo here. Up front, you have a 19 inch wheel, out back, there are 20 inch wheels. These also have, peeking behind those rotors, massive. When I was a kid, I used to love to play Frisbee, these things are bigger than any Frisbee I ever was able to play with. You could probably throw this thing if it was a Frisbee, you go all the way from Florida to Alaska, but that is the optional carbon ceramic brake setup. This is technology from Formula One that is now in street cars. Here's a little clue, a little tip, a little fun fact. When you're looking at an AMG product, a GT, the way that you know that automatically has carbon ceramic brake rotors is the calipers are always gold. So you have these massive Brembo calipers. They're gonna squeeze that rotor just like Bigfoot's foot. 
if it was grabbing onto that rotor and really just shed the speed very quickly. I love the gold with the blue Magno. And just to see the two-piece rotor, that is nothing but race car business, and I'm loving it. As we go into the fender, check out this side vent. Really love this extra aerodynamic element. It looks like a piece taken right off of Lewis Hamilton's Formula One car, functional V8 by turbo, twin turbo V8. And remember, this is a front mid-engine, so that engine is sitting as close to that firewall as possible for optimal 50-50 balance. As we go down the side, you have black painted mirrors. I wish these were carbon fiber, so I am gonna zonk that. I'm sure it's an option to really drive up the price, but this does have a full carbon fiber roof. Beautiful, really just fits the character of the car. And, it, and what's gonna happen is you say, well, what's the big deal about a carbon fiber roof? You're shedding weight up top. This roof is about almost 10 pounds lighter than the standard roof, so that means you're gonna have less weight up top that's going to help with handling you can see the gloss black side skirt, uh, skirt extension all for aerodynamics one thing i'm a little confused about and i am going to zonk why on the gtr do we have chrome on the door handle that kind of seems out of place with this being a track focused car that's more like a amg gtc that we actually have next to the car i could see that there but that is kind of confusing me a little bit of flaring out and then check out the rear tire and wheel setup 20 inch wheel, like I said, these are wrapped in those sticky, super sticky, Gorilla Glue sticky Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2s. That's a track focused car. If you were to drive this every day as your daily driver, you're probably gonna get about nine or 10,000 miles out of those tires because you can't have both. You can't have durability and stick, ultimate stick. These are gonna give you ultimate stick, but 20 inch, now, if you're wondering why do they have a 19 inch wheel front that's to give you quicker steering but even very large caliper on the rear these things the rear you're looking at two uh the rear tires there's a 325 325 on the rear that's super wide to make sure the traction is getting to the ground speaking of getting traction to the ground as we come around the rear i love the flared fender massive uh, spoiler back here. It's finished in a gloss black. You can get this in carbon fiber. That's obviously going to bring up the price, but this thing is functional. It's going to give us downforce. There's our GTR logo. I like the yellow because whoever optioned this out has yellow seat belts inside. Even the venting here, you can see the extra width of the rear of the car. This massive diffuser. I mean, this thing is just freaking sick. The size of this thing. And that's another thing people forget. It's not only about producing downforce up top, but you see this lower section with the fins, that's gonna produce downforce from underneath. There's air traveling underneath the car. We're gonna suck it down. And then you have this massive single outlet exhaust. Normally I don't like these on a lot of cars, but it does look damn good on the back of this AMG GTR. There's our AMG uh, logo. You could position this different ways, which is great, give you extra downforce, but really clean setup back here, and the color is just mind-blowing. Let's go ahead, pop that hood, and see the heart of this German beast. All right, guys, we got that massive aircraft carrier-style hood opened up. Look at the functional venting that's in here. So when this hood is closed, air is gonna come from the front of the car and go up inside. See how that door opens up there? That is smart engineering. That's stuff you find from racing the heat extractors in the back, fully functional. And as we drop down, look at that freaking engine cover. I love the carbon fiber. You can see who hand assembled this in Germany. Those guys assembling these engines have a master's degree and have to go through a two-year apprenticeship. See those little guys back there, those two snails? Those are your twin turbos. And the engine so close to that firewall, you're looking, like I said, four liter V8 twin turbo, 577 horsepower, 516 pound-feet of torque. It's all going through a seven-speed DCT transmission, zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. The car weighs around 3,500 pounds, and you know what? It's two ticks shy of a top speed of 200 miles an hour, 19 miles per gallon in the city, and 24 on the highway. The reason why I bring up the 200 mile an hour thing is that remember, at 200 miles an hour, you're traveling the length of a football field every single second. But definitely with the hood popped, it really shows 
that race car engineering inside and on the outside, why don't we go ahead, if you're ready, let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. guys we're inside the 2020 AMG GTR I know you probably had a second to wipe the drool off your face and now you're thinking hey maybe I want one of these how much is it now you can go crazy with the options and check them all off and it'd be well over two hundred thousand dollars this one is at a MSRP a hundred ninety seven thousand dollars let's see what you get and let's see what the updates are to the door panels I love the Alcantara that yellow contrast stitching, the leather on the armrest, very simple, but also very elegant. You have the brushed aluminum uh, speaker covers and that door handle there to open up the door. As we go from the door panel to the wonderful leather on the dash, all that stitch work, Alcantara on the glove box. I hope you have Alcantara gloves to put in that Alcantara glove box. I've always liked what Mercedes-Benz does with their AC vents. It's a very like aeronautical setup this is all new, so you have a 10-inch infotainment system screen, nicely placed, real clear graphics. Of course, you can go through your drive control and go into all the different settings of this car. So when you go in a vehicle, there's our AMG GTR. You could make changes, you could go into track pace and get all sorts of information. Of course, it's warning you, use this on racetracks only, but it's that technology that people want in their car. You could change, you can do drag race, you can do telemetry, all sorts of information. Look at the dry weave carbon fiber. So up on the roof, that's a wet weave carbon fiber, dry weave carbon fiber. Loving the AC vents and you see this, this is something different. You're not gonna get on your standard AMG GT. You turn this to adjust your levels of traction control. So what's great is a lot of cars, either traction control is on or traction control is off. You turn it all the way to the left, you turn traction control off. You turn it back to the right and you have different increments of traction control. That's what they have on the race cars in the IMSA WeatherTech series in the GTD class where this car races. All dry weave carbon fiber, love the very slim and trim AC vents. And then this is all updated. You actually have TFT displays on each of these buttons showing you what they operate. This is op obviously for the exhaust. You have your drive control for the infotainment system here. This is gonna be controlling that seven speed DCT, very fast shifting transmission. It's a hard armrest, but it's beautiful and it's got the AMG Crest logo on it. And then I know a lot of you wanna see keys. The key is disappointing. This key is back from 2016. This is the older Mercedes-Benz style. Nothing on the back, but you know, it looks very dated, especially for a track beast like this. I don't know if Tom could show you, but do you see this? strut tower brace back here that's actually stiffening up the back of the car just like you would have one of those underneath the hood carbon fiber and then finally these seats are a little piece of race car heaven i love the stitch work amg the gloss black the alcantara the bolstering is high but it's meant to be like that because it is meant to hold you in place check out on even on the floor there they actually removed the carpet area so that you could just place your feet there and not rip up the carpet. But that's what this car is all about. And then of course, you have to have the yellow seat belts that go with the yellow stitching that go with those gold calipers. Very, very nice. One last thing I wanna show you is up top, you have your ventilated and heated seats, easy to get to, nicely done. Why don't you come on over here? Because guess what? There's new here, there's new here for 2020. There's some new stuff going on over here. Come on over to the business end. All right, guys, business end. Let me show you how you have that wonderful carbon fiber on the armrest, another nice touch, that AMG logo that lights up on the sill panel, panel here, another nice touch. I'm six feet tall, plenty of headroom. That's the great thing is that if you think you're gonna feel cramped in here, but you don't, and these seats are just, you're ready for a race track. I'm ready to take this to Sebring. Here's something all new for 2020. Updated steering wheel. This looks like it's taken right off of their Formula One car un-freaking-believable. You have TFT display for your adjustments, 
go into your different modes, Sport Plus, Race, got to have a checkered flag, of course. Gloss black, very, very nice uh, thumb controls, and then you have massive uh, paddles on the back of the wheel to go up and down that seven-speed DCT. I am going to zonk them. I wish they were metal. They should be metal, to be honest with you. And then another thing that's all new for 2020 is that dash setup. TFT display, clear as can be, absolutely, positively, love the setup, love the design, and they really did an awesome job with everything on there. And you could scroll through all sorts of information to keep you appraised appraise of what's going on with this AMG GTR. But why don't we go ahead, look at the back area, and see, hey, is this thing usable? All right, guys, one of the most amazing things about this AMG GT, especially the GTR, is you could get to the grocery store faster than anybody else because watch this. This thing has a ton of space. So we pop that back trunk area. It's like a hatchback opens up. Plenty of room. Let me move this out of the way. Plenty of room. I love the AMG logo. There's that carbon fiber strut tower brace for the back of the car to stiffen it up because that's what this is all about. This thing has been tuned. It's been it's like a piece of wood that's been whittled into the design of a car because that's what you're going to get as you drive it around the track. It's going to be this almost like neurologically connected experience. Speaking about that experience, if you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this AMG GTR for a spin. All right, guys, we're in the 2020 GTR, and my heartbeat just elevated by about 100 beats per minute, just hearing the growl coming out of the back of the exhaust. Unbelievable. I tell you right now, if you watch the IMSA WeatherTech series and you see the in-car camera footage of a Mercedes-Benz GTR race car, you're gonna think that you're in the race car every day. That's what it sounds like. Unbelievable. On throttle, here we go. something oh my god that v8 twin turbocharged <sighs> unbelievable god the sounds the dct shifts so flawlessly and it's like your frontal lobe says i'm gonna shift now the car's already shifting looking out over the over that hood is the only way to be. I feel like I'm sitting on that rear axle of this car. Those massive calipers, the size of the feet of Bigfoot, clamping down on those ceramic brake rotors. Oh, those carbon ceramic brake rotors, unbelievable. It's hard to see a little bit with all these window stickers, but uh, I don't care. I'm still driving it. Here we go. Unbelievable. Wow. The, the engine accelerates so quickly, you gotta be on it to know when to shift. Sound. If they could bottle that sound and sell it for cheaper than this car, it, you'd be a millionaire. I mean, this thing is unbelievable. Here we go, guys. On the brakes, downshift into this turn, downshift again, into this turn, coming out. Here we go. Wow. Oh my God. Yes. Oh my God, this car is amazing, is amazing. AMG and Mercedes-Benz definitely know what they're doing. Definitely know what they're doing with this thing. The sound of that V8. Oh my God, I wish I could get one of these for myself. Unbelievable how fast the shifts, the steering, it's like the feedback, the weight, everything about it is spot on exactly what you would ex expect from a car with that AMG logo, especially one that has an R at the end. I could hear the little pebbles bouncing off those super sticky Gorilla Glue 
Cup 2 tires, meant for the track, but boy, can you enjoy them on the street as well. The brakes, oh my God. Let's do a little acceleration test here. Here we go, first gear. And the numbers don't lie. Zero to 63.5 seconds, uh, yes please. Top speed 198 miles an hour, yes please. Unbelievable. And the shifts, God, DCTs, I love you. Yes, I would like a manual, but I'm sorry. Right now, driving this for the little time that I get with it, it's, it's everything you can imagine. Here we go. Turning is great. On the brakes. Really smooth. Look at this. Oh, yeah, we're going to get it here. Freak, those brakes are amazing. Wow. All right, guys, this is one last time for you. Acceleration test. First gear on throttle. Here we go. say oh my god this thing is a experience psychologically you don't need drugs you really don't get yourself an amg gtr <sighs> this last run guys is for the radies rides family thank you for your support here we go I didn't have to say this, but we got to get back to Crown Euro Cars and hand the keys back over to Bianca there. But anyways, I just want to say thank you because it's been one hell of a ride. We will see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been one heck of a time with this AMG GTR. Just the sensations, the feedback, the engagement, this is a race car for the street but you know what you could also drive it on a regular basis which is mind-blowing definitely going to thank bianca and the rest of the crew here at crown euro cars for allowing us access to this german street beast is this the car to get over a porsche 911 a corvette z06 or a nissan gtr i'm going to say hey if you could swing that price tag where else can you have this kind of experience with that low long hood sitting on the rear axle banging through that seven speed DCT. But if it's the things like this you wanna see on Radies Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee, Tom Moshner. He's working the camera, he's working the weights. He's just living life and he's getting ready for the next step. So wish him well, and just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.